So let's do the third part of partial fraction decomposition case three. So decompose, change color, decompose P over Q. Um, Q has none repeated. irreducible uh, quadratic factors. So we have some quadratic factors in the denominator uh, and it is non-repeated. Okay, so let's do an example. An example of that would be something like 3x minus five over uh, x cubed minus one. And notice that in the denominator, I have difference of two cubes. So let me go ahead and go to the next page. Uh, let's do this. If I factor that the difference of two cubes, I will get um, uh, 3x minus five over x cubed minus one should equal three x minus five over x minus one uh, x squared plus x plus one. Yeah. And now once again, uh, we're gonna have to, we are told uh, by other mathematicians that if you have, let me change color that if you have a denominator that has none repeated and uh, none and you know x squared plus x plus one is a quadratic and you cannot reduce that anymore it's non-reducible and so we are telling that this we are told that this breaks down to sum over x minus one plus here instead of b we have bx plus c, since we have uh, a quadratic in the denominator over x squared plus x plus one. We are not gonna question it why, we're just gonna accept it for now and uh, solve for a, b, and c, hopefully. So uh, how do we do that? Like before, let's multiply both sides of this equation multiply both sides, both sides by least common denominator, which is right here. Okay, let's go to the next page. If I do that, what do I get on the left-hand side? On the left-hand side, the entire denominator cancels out. I'm left with three X minus five, on the right hand side, I'm going to have a times x to the second plus x plus one plus bx plus c times x minus one. And now I'm going to go ahead and and now I'm going to go ahead and um, distribute. Uh, all this on the right hand side, I will get uh, 3x minus 5 equals ax to the second plus ax plus a plus bx to the second minus bx plus cx minus c. And once again, I'm going to organize the right hand side. So I'm gonna get three X minus five equals, uh, let's put X squared in front. So I have A plus B as coefficients of X to the second plus coefficients of X's. I have A, I have minus B, I have a C times X. And then I have a plus A and then I have a minus C. Okay, yeah, I think I got everything. And now 
look at this. This equal sign here demands that the coefficients on the left hand side must equal the coefficients on the right hand side. I don't have any uh, x squared on the left hand side, so a plus b must equal zero. A plus b must equal zero. And a minus b uh, plus c must equal three coefficient of x. And uh, free floating variable uh, numbers a and c, uh, a minus c must equal negative five. Okay, once again, you can, you can, if you like, you can think of this five as five x to the zero and think of this as x to the zero, but it's not necessary. Okay. Now I have three equations and I have three unknowns. Okay. Um, let's see, from the first one, I can say that A equals minus B, okay. And then uh, I can put that in here and I can put that in here. If I, then I'm gonna have um, minus B minus C equals negative five. So C equals uh, five minus B, that's right. So C, take the C to the other side and bring the, okay, C equals five minus B. And now that I know, um, now I can use, you know, this middle one, Instead of A, I'm gonna go ahead and put minus B from here. Then I have minus B. Instead of C, I have plus five minus B. That all equals to three. So this gives me minus three B and subtract five from both sides. I get negative two. So B equals two there. B equals two third, and since A equals opposite of B, I can claim that A equals minus two third. So all I have to do is find C. So I can say that C equals five minus two third. So that's gonna give me uh, four and one third. So I'm gonna get that equals 13 over three, 13 over three. So let's go to the next page. Of course, you could use a matrix to solve for that, but in this case, uh, I was able to solve for it without too much work. So the conclusion is that our original uh, rational function that was three X minus five over X cubed minus one equals we said A was negative two third over uh, X minus one and plus, uh, then we had B X, B was two third of X plus C and C was 13 over three all over X squared plus X plus one. Okay, ooh, sorry, all right. And that was a good example for the third case that when we um, decompose, we factor the denominator of the original rational function. We had uh, a quadratic, one of the factors was irreducible quadratic right here. And so that constitute for case three. I'll do one more video about case four, and that's the harder one, the hardest of the all cases, at least that's my opinion. Okay, thanks.